Hi, this is Peter from Anatomy Zone, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the anatomy of the cubital fossa. The cubital fossa is a triangular depression anterior to the elbow joint, which contains several neurovascular structures forming a transition area between the upper arm and the forearm. We're first going to take a look at the boundaries, and then we'll take a look at some of the key contents. The sides of the triangle which make up the cubital fossa are comprised of two forearm muscles, the brachioradialis and the pronator teres. The lateral border of the cubital fossa is made up of the medial border of the brachioradialis, which originates from the lateral supraepicondylar ridge of the humerus. Its medial border is made up by the lateral border of pronator teres, which itself originates from the medial epicondyle of the humerus. The apex of the triangle is formed where the two muscles meet inferiorly. The base of the triangle is formed by a horizontal line drawn between the medial and lateral epicondyles. The deep aspect of the cubital fossa, or the floor, is made up by two muscles, the brachialis muscle proximally, and the supinator distally. The roof of the cubital fossa is made up from the bicipital aponeurosis as well as superficial fascia and skin. So let's take a look at some of the contents of the cubital fossa. From medial to lateral, you have the median nerve, the brachial artery, the biceps brachii tendon, the radial nerve, and in the roof, you have the median cubital vein. Coming back to the median nerve, this leaves the cubital fossa by passing between the ulna and humeral heads of the pronator teres muscle. The brachial artery branches into the radial artery and the ulnar artery at the apex of the triangle. The biceps brachii tendon passes through the middle of the cubital fossa, attaching to the radial tuberosity. Laterally, we have the radial nerve. This passes under the brachioradialis muscle, where it divides into superficial and deep branches. The final structure, the median cubital vein, passes within the roof of the cubital fossa. It connects the cephalic vein with the basilic vein. Other structures within the roof are the medial and lateral cutaneous nerves of the forearm. I just want to make a final point about the bicipital aponeurosis which I mentioned before. This is a flat connective tissue which attaches from the medial side of the biceps brachii tendon to the deep fascia of the forearm. It's important because it protects the brachial artery and median nerve, separating it from the median cubital vein. So that's the anatomy of the cubital fossa. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.